I am thoroughly impressed by the new support that OpenAI has released for images and audio in ChatGPT. As you can see, I now see an icon where you can attach the images. I have this particular picture of my Niagara Falls visit. So I'm going to attach that and I will ask my first question, which is, can you tell me which place is this? And it immediately figures out it is Niagara Falls. Okay, now let me ask when exactly this picture was taken. As you see in the image, because this is an old camera, I had this kind of time and date uh, in the image itself. And it is able to recognize that. See, June 16, 2007. Now I will ask a little harder question, which is how many people are there in the pic? Now, if you look at this image, you might think, okay, one, two, three, four people, but actually look at this viewing station. There are so many people. And as a human, even I can't figure out how many people are there. So let's see how chat GPT performs on this one. Okay. There is one prominently visible person in the foreground picture, which is me background. There is an observation deck, but it's difficult to get an exit count. See, it detected that there is an observation deck, but I'm not able to figure out as a human. Also, we have difficulty. So I think it still did pretty well. Now, let me ask another question. What main objects are present in this image other than the Niagara Falls? Now, folks, isn't this amazing? It is saying prominent visible man wearing glasses and yellow striped polo t-shirt. See, that's me observation deck where there are several people. So this is the observation deck, some trees and greenery on the left hand side, few tall buildings in the far background, like these two, several people, presumably tourists taking photos with their cameras, mostly seen from back or side. See, they're taking pictures. It is detecting that the sky and some clouds. When I asked this question on a different occasion, it also told me that building and skyscraper in a distance background, from Niagara Falls, cityscape of Niagara Falls, Ontario. Now that's super impressive because this particular side is on the Canada side where there is Ontario city and I was on the US side and it is able to even detect the city name. This is super impressive. Now let me show you some real use case. So when I was at Bloomberg, uh, I was involved in extracting data from companies financial documents such as this. This is Tata Motors. Uh, you know, like quarterly report Q1 FY 2021. And it is usually hard to extract data from an image. See, this is an image. And actually it is a complicated image because there is a transpose table here where there are multiple dimensions to any value that you're looking at. So I'm going to upload that particular image and I will just say I have some questions on this particular image. Okay, now let me ask the question. I'm going to say what is consolidated EBIT percentage for 2021 Q1? And in the image, I'm expecting that it will show me this 15, negative 15 value. And by the way, see in the image, it says console. It doesn't say consolidated. Also for the year, it says Q1 FY 2021. Whereas I asked, I just said 2021 Q1. Here it says FY 2021 and look at this. This is like a vertical, like tilted text. It's not like very straightforward and still it told me the answer. Okay. It is negative 15%. So it performed extremely well. Once again, I can say from my experience working in data extraction for Bloomberg for so many years, this is not an easy task. Now I will ask even a difficult question and I will say, what is Jaguar Land Rover's PBT for 2020 Q1? Now look at this. Here it says JLR. It doesn't even tell you Jaguar Land Rover. So it is abbreviation plus it, the table is in the middle. There is no clear like vertical separation between the columns. You are reading PBT here. It's a negative number. See, it's a very challenging task. And look at this. It told me that it is indicating a loss. See? It figured out that when the number is in bracket in financial terminology, it means a negative number. So it figured that out. Folks, this is truly amazing. This feature is by the way available only for the paid subscriber who has access to GPT-4 model. I personally think this is going to fundamentally revolutionize the way we do image analytics. 
you know whether it's extracting data from financial documents or you are writing any kind of OCR program there are a lot of OCR programs Amazon has this tax tract solution this is going to fundamentally disrupt all of that here is the page that uh, made this announcement and there is an audio support too i'm going to provide a link by the way so you can you can look at the audio support where you can talk to chat gpt if you have an app you can say uh, tell me a bedtime story or you can say uh, you know write a poem on my love for samosa and it will basically uh, interact with you and in an audio format okay so you can play this demo and kind of watch it for yourself this is pretty amazing you can you know select like different kind of uh, voices here as well all right so just try it out if you have any question post in the comment box below and if you have friends who are interested and excited uh, to hear about latest advancements happening in the ai world please share this video with them thank you for watching